I'm testing those three RF meters to the RF high speed pulses response time. I'm going to start with 100 millisecond pulse width and uh, based on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Start from 100 millisecond. All three meters detected this pulses. 100 millisecond wide. Okay, reduce. Pulses width to 50 millisecond. All three meters detected. 50 milli second pulses now is 10 millisecond ten milli pulses ten millisecond pulses all three meters is able to detect it now five millisecond TF to barely detect some of 5 millisecond pulses. Now reduce to 1 millisecond. 1 millisecond pulses. EMF 390 and uh, a cost meter detected, not TF2. Now reduce to micron second. No, not for. I'm going to reduce to hundred microsecond. Okay, a cost meter detected hundred microsecond and the EMF three ninety, but TF two not. Reduce to fifty microsecond. The fifty microsecond, a cost meter and. Uh, EMF 390 both detected. 10 microsecond. A cost meter barely detected 10 microseconds, sometimes detected, most of time not. EMF 390 is still detected 10 microsecond pulses. Now reduced to 4 microsecond. Only EMF 390 is able to detect 4 microseconds. I'm still going to reduce the speed, the pulse width. I change to external source. External source right now I setting to the 1000 nanosecond. That means the 1 microsecond. EMF 390 is able to detect one microsecond pulse with RF pulses. Now I'm going to reduce it. Five hundred nanoseconds. Sorry. EMF 390 still survived. Four hundred nanoseconds still okay 300 nanosecond works good 200 nanoseconds still detected EMF 390 is able to detect 200 nanosecond pulse with RF pulses 100 now, it EMF 390 is not able to detect 100 nanosecond RF pulses.